Okay, happy Tuesday, everyone. Welcome in to Leticia Daily Devotion. Welcome in for this morning. This is a good one for today. And I've been up, I've been reading my word. And I said, let me come on and do a daily devotion for today. And wishing everyone a happy new year. And breakthrough blessings to everyone that's are going through anything. I pray that God will bless you in a mighty way. Amen. And I will come on to do a daily prayer. Heavenly Father, I come to you right now. Those are are going through anything, oh God, I'm asking you to bring them out and keep them strong, oh God, and restore their health. If they have any sickness in their body, oh God, restore their health and renew their strength in their body today. Lord, and strengthen their heart, their mind, soul, and spirit. And those are sick in the hospital rooms, I ask you to go into the hospital pillow room and heal and touch their body so they could be with their family and friends again, Lord, to rise them up and be healed, oh God. And those are dealing with depression, I ask you, Lord, to rise them up and be healed from depression. I deal with depression a lot, and I'm asking you, Lord, to continue to heal with me with my depression and those are going through any depression this year already and going through some problems i'm asking you lord to direct a path and fix it oh god and put joy back in their hearts lord and strength renew their strength their mind body soul and spirit and those are homeless oh god i ask you to be a way maker for them be the provider of those that are in need of things oh god i ask you to Bless them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And today I will be talking about the battle is not yours, but it's God's. And we all going through some battles and tests and trials, but God going to deliver us from it. Let's read today. Uh, I'm coming out of Second Chronicles 20 and... 15. And he said, Hearken ye all Judah and ye habitation of Jerusalem, and thou king Jehoshaphat, thus said the Lord unto you, Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours but God's. For the battle is not yours, but God's. Verse 17. Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Fight in this battle. Set yourself. Stand ye still. And see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. Amen. We need to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Amen. We need to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Amen. If you would hear me turning some pages. Amen. 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 I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continue to be in my mouth. Psalms 34 and 1. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Let's continue on turning with the pages. Happy New Year to everyone. Psalms 46 and 1. God is our refuge and strength and a very present help and trouble. God going to see us through what we are going through, our tests and trials. God is going to be with us. And let's turn some more pages. 
we into Romans. I've been stuck with Romans lately. Because Romans 8 is a good chapter to read when you are down and out. It's a good chapter to read. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Romans 8 and 31. Romans 8 and 37. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that love us. That love us. We are more than conquerors. You know, let's go back to Second Chronicles. For the battle is not yours, but it's God's. The battle is not yours, but it's God. God got you. Let God fight for you. We have to be still and see be still and see the salvation of the Lord. We have to stand still. We have to be humble for God will lift us up in due season. The Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Exodus 14 and 14. The Lord shall fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. Let the Lord fight your battles. Amen, amen. The next Exodus 14 and 14. The Lord shall fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. Exodus 14 and 14. I'm reading on my notes. I have notes with me today. Um, This is my journal notes. And I wrote some scriptures down as well, um, attaining to my daily devotion for today that I've been reading on lately, and they've been helping me, and I hope it helped you on today for this morning for daily devotion, Psalms 30, Psalms 3 and 3, but thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory in the lifter of my head uh, how many know god is a lifter of our head when we are feeling weak and god was going to make us strong god is a lifter of our head when we are down and out god is there with us he he lifting us up today because he let us see another day and, and we going through our battles we still have to keep going For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous with favor, with thou compass him as with a shield. Psalms 5 and 12. When you, when you are low, low and down and out, keep team to praise God. Because when you are praising God, praising God will confuse the enemy. The devil will have to flee. So when you down and out, keep praising the Lord. Because that the Bible says in Psalm 34, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. So we got to continue to lift up his name because he is worthy to be praised for he has done great things for us in the past. And he's going to continue to do great things for us in the in the future. So we have to continue to no no matter what we feeling and how we feel, we got to continue to trust in the Lord and and continue to praise him because he going to see us through. He going to deliver us. Trouble don't last always. We got to continue to lift him up because the joy of the Lord is our strength. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy coming in the morning. Psalms 30 and 5. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. So we have to continue to so continually always trust in the Lord, for he will direct our path. Amen. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. When we are going through, God will give us double for our trouble. This is Psalms 46 and 1. God is our refuge and strength and very present help in trouble. So when you are going through, God going to give us double for our trouble. Psalms 
And what the devil meant from harm, God would turn it around for our good. And God won't put more on us than we are able to bear in this season of what we are going to, going through in this season. God won't put no more on us than we are able to bear. He will lift us up and he will change some things around. We just got to keep trusting in the Lord and keep praying for a change to come. We got to hold on for a change is going to come. The best is yet to come. We got to keep holding on to him. The best is yet to come. We haven't seen our best days yet, we, so we got to keep holding on and stand still. After all you have done, we got to keep standing. We got to, after all you have been through, through the rain, through the storm, we